Welcome back to Outlast. Um, I've made it up here. Men with machete are after me. And I have to go down here, which is undoubtedly the scariest hallway in this game so far. I really hate jump scares. I don't feel like jump scares are essential for a scary game. The sounds are freaking me out. Wait, what's going on in here? What are they doing? Just running around? That guy's running in circles? He just looks happy. This guy's got the key card. Okay, so we've avoided being spotted. Oh, I think I'm in trouble. Okay, uh, I have the key card. I can go directly there. Thanks. Why did I want to go here? Are those gunshots? Sounds like lightning. Exit through the showers. What part of this guy does not want me to leave, don't you understand? Is that an open window? Thank you, Jesus. Oh my god! Uh oh. I just... I, I really screwed that one up. I ran to the window. I kind of jumped past it. I think I hit it too early. Maybe too late. I don't know. Okay, so let's, let's try this again. You know there's nothing. I'm just gonna run as fast as I can to that open window. Exit stage right. My God, he How do I get down? There's no exit. Like, there's no way to jump down. They know I'm right here, so I mean, they're just gonna pull me back in. Maybe that's why they're laughing at me. They're like, well, how's he gonna get down? Wait, they're gone. Thank God. So, apparently I'm too retarded to just grab onto a ledge. I mean, not even a ledge. It was a pole. Perfect for getting down. Don't mind me. Thought there was someone there. Is there a, there a document over here? Alright, there's a button. We all know what buttons mean. Buttons mean. Uh, we can't lock the door, which is unfortunate. Is there a place to hide, is the question. Okay, so what's our primary objective right now? Uh, I think if we just hit escape. No. Uh, I forgot. M L J P O. 
There was a way to see our objective. I guess we don't have one. There's nowhere to hide, though, so pressing this button is not really on my to-do list. Oh, no. Nope, not about that life. Not about that freaking life. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck! What the frick? Oh my god. Screw this game. Maybe he's too fat to fit in here. Oh, this is not the way I want to go. Oh, I'm dead. I have no idea where to go. This isn't the way! <laughs> Oh, I died. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that scared the crap out of me. I panicked. I mean, I saw that thing open, but I thought someone was dropping in. Uh, so that was my bad. I like how it just magically opens, though. Okay, now what happens if I go left? Is there even a left? No, there's not. Okay. Because we know going that way is just stupid. But then there's nowhere to go here. Okay, so I think we just gotta go back. Suck on that, fat guy. Uh, don't think we wanna... We don't have time to collect our thoughts. Okay. I think we're good to go. Here's what I do when I'm scared in video games. I run. Because then I see what's coming, and I can just face it, you know? Oh, checking that was stupid. Uh, so I just run. Then when I die, it's like, who cares, you know? Oh, this is where I just was, I think. So that's what I do when I'm scared. Oh my god. I made it. Look at this douchebag. Look at his hand. I really wanted to end that episode earlier, but I don't think it's been long enough. And thank god I didn't, because I would hate to start an episode off like that. I guess this just looks bad. I'm trying to get a little sight for it before I go in. I don't see anything, so we just YOLO. Yeah, it's kind of scary. He's not a douchebag, though. He does follow you, which is weird enough. Go away. Seriously. That's freaky. Go away. Can I help him? Can't do anything for you. Sorry, friend. I think I can jump up here, though. Nurse! Nurse! I'm gonna need some help getting clean. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Yeah, okay, I kind of figured that. Up. Oh, I'm gonna shake this guy out. Hopefully. Suck it. Yach. Alright. I'm just gonna continue making my way. If you grab me, sir, I will not be a happy camper. 
Oh my god, I'm slowly making progress to jump from a ledge, move forward, and press spacebar. Huh. What's going here? I'm not gonna hurt you. Uh, J. Obituary from website. I bet you, if you, eh, you can't copy and paste. Um, Dr. Rudolph G. Wernick, age 90, passed away doing work for, no, doing work he loved on February 28th, 2009. He was born in 1918 in Munich, Germany, and achieved fame in the, the mathematic and scientific communities for a paper written with early computer pioneering Alan Turing. After a cloudy history with the German war effort, he immigrated to the United States in 1949. This guy's actually pretty old. Uh, he's 91 about when he died. Well, obviously 90 because it says right there, but I feel stupid. Uh, he, 1949 with a visa from the State Department. Several decades of government research in Los Alamos led to New Mexico where Dr. Wernick retired to pursue landscape photography and care for his cats. He came to Colorado shortly after the turn of the millennium to pursue charitable work for the Murkoff Corporation. A statement from the company calls Dr. Wernick a true humanitarian with a generous spirit. He leaves no survivors. Wait, actually, I think you can record this. I hear footsteps. It's kind of scary. None of this is worth... Okay, documenting. The question is, do I go up there or do you go this way? Oh, I think I just answered that question. Alright, so as per usual. Hey! Hey, God damn it! I hear you! Okay, so that guy made me fall. I don't know if he wants to talk to me or if he wants to kill me, but I'm really not interested either way. And look at this guy. He's just waiting to break out. Oh, I'm being choked. Please let go. I like how he just puts his camera back up, like, well... I'm not gonna hurt you, douche. Like, that's really what I'm worried about, more than you. Follow the blood. <gasps> oh, we actually found something. What is that? A little bit of guts in my stall? Wall Rider. The word Wall Rider is all over this place. Murkoff was running an experiment here called Project Wall Rider. But, his pa but the patients talk about the Wall Rider like it's a physical presence, a spirit or demon, something they found in the mountain. I'd chalk it up to schizophrenic delusion, but I just saw something. Maybe. Maybe it was a glitch in the camera, or maybe this place is getting to me. I didn't see nothing in the camera, but if you say so, I mean, what did I see in the camera? What are you talking about? I mean, I didn't see nothing. 
I am not going in there in this episode. Okay, there's lightning. That's that's pretty scary. I'm just gonna sit in this corner. And uh Thanks for watching. Hopefully this was long enough. I have no idea. I don't have a timer or anything. Uh but yeah, thanks for watching. This should be like episode five, I believe. Without last, again, I hope you don't mind that there's no webcam. It's really just a pain to synchronize, and I don't know. But uh, I'll see you guys on episode six. Hopefully, I'll also be starting Amnesia soon. Although I heard it's very different from The Dark Descent, so I'm not too enthusiastic about it. At least not as much as I was when I pre-ordered it as soon as I heard it came out. But, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.